or is this is this full time MMA now? Uh, I love full time MMA right now. Full time MMA, MMA. nothing yeah. else. My life, man. Yeah. Back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And UFC president Dana White recently joined the UFC Unfiltered podcast with Matt Serra and Jim Norton. And while on it, El Jefe said that the UFC is working with commissions to get rid of early weigh-ins. Now, this is actually good news as far as um, fighters missing weight is concerned. And um, we briefly discussed this on full-time MMA in the morning today. And whenever we were on there, uh, somebody asked the question, why did they even start doing the early weigh-ins? And I figured that out as well, so we're gonna talk about that for a second. But as far as the old process, process is concerned, if you didn't know how it used to go, um, the UFC, you know, now there's early weigh-ins and ceremonial weigh-ins. The early weigh-ins happen from like nine in the morning to 12, nine to 12 in the morning. And then the ceremonial weigh-ins are the weigh-ins where you have like the announcers, and you know, the, the, the crowd is there, Joe Rogan's on stage announcing them and then they stand on the scale on the stage. That used to be the official weigh-ins. That was when fighters actually weighed in, but that was changed. And this is why it changed for uh, just, you know, for any of those that were wondering. Um, this was from an article a while back and they were discussing the new weigh-in policy. And it says the idea was developed by doctors. It is to give the athletes more time to rehydrate after their weight cut. A byproduct is now fighters will be dehydrated for a shorter amount of time and going without food and water for a shorter amount of time. Rather than waiting hours to be transported to the venue for the weigh-in sh show to begin. So it was to help fighters, you know, not be dehydrated as long. but. What happened was, this is what Dana White feels like he, uh, happened. He said, here's what I believe. I believe anytime you change something, everybody looks to take as much advantage of it as they can of the situation. And I think that when we started doing morning weigh-ins, it was very good. Everyone was making weight and it was great. Then people started cutting it closer and closer, thinking they can put on more weight because they have more time to recover. And the reality is it fucked everything up. So with that being said, um, at the beginning of this new weight cutting process of early weigh-ins, fighters you know fighters liked it everyone it was going well like planned but now we've seen a lot more fighters missing weight like i mean tens and tens more fighters like if if four fighters missed weight per year before now it's like 24 30 like a whole lot more fighters are now missing weight with early weigh-ins um and so ufc's looking to change it back dan white said um he thinks the early weigh-ins is part of the problem and guess what we're getting rid of it we're looking at taking the weigh-ins back to the way they used to be so when fighters weigh in they're, they're at the ceremonial weigh-ins that'll be it that'll be the real way in so with that being said i think this is a good move i mean as far as um you know missing weight is concerned we've seen fighters missing weight in title fights multiple times interim title fights uh we yoel romero kevin lee um he came back and made weight versus tony ferguson but I mean, we've just seen Darren Till recently, Mackenzie Darren. I mean, we could go on and on with the fighters that have missed weight since the early weigh-in process. That and Some of them had never missed weight before. This was Kevin Lee's first time missing weight ever, actually, in his last fight. And, um, you know, so with that being said, I think this is a good move. We'll see how it changed, see how the fighters react to this. Um, because in the beginning of the early weigh-ins, fighters enjoyed this. You know, the doctors did it for a reason, as we saw. It was for fighters to be less rehydrated. So uh, um, it'll definitely be interesting to see how some fighters react to this, if they look at this as a good thing, or, you know, maybe some fighters like the early weigh-ins. Who knows? I'll keep you guys updated. But that being said, it is what it is. Let the full time family know what you think in the comments about Dana White and the UFC working with the commissions to get rid of early weigh-ins. I'm out. And as always, thanks for checking out this video. If you want to join the notification gang, make sure you hit subscribe and also hit the bell next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you want to help this channel reach its full potential, consider hitting the PayPal link in the description or going to patreon.com slash full-time MMA and becoming a patron. I'm out. This is number one bullshit.